Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 95, Uninstalling a Power Apps Portal. When we are brought into projects where someone has already installed a portal to play around with, often the first thing we do is uninstall that portal so that we can start fresh. Unfortunately, there is no single button to completely uninstall a portal. It involves a number of manual steps. When installing a portal, there are three main things that happen. First, a number of solutions are installed in the Dataverse environment, which contain custom tables and columns. Next, data is imported into those tables. Finally, the Azure services that actually connect to Dataverse to host the portal are provisioned. To uninstall a portal, we have to reverse these. First, you need to remove the Azure services. This can be done either by deleting the portal app via make.powerapps.com, select the ellipses and then select delete, or by going into the Power Apps Portal Admin Center and using the Reset Portal button on the Portal Actions page. Next, you need to remove the solutions. The tricky part is removing them in the correct order and possibly untangling any dependencies you might have created on them. Each portal template has a different set of solutions. I find the easiest technique is to order by the created date and start uninstalling based on the most recent install. The show dependencies feature can be a real help if you run into dependencies issues. This is the long part, since there are a lot of solutions. For example, the last time I checked, the partner portal comes with over 30 solutions. Thankfully, since these are all managed solutions, when you uninstall them, the related data is also uninstalled. So once you've done that, you've now got a clean environment where you can install a new portal. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 95 on uninstalling a Power Apps Portal useful.